by the amount of interest here. And we are delighted that our city's first lady can join us tonight. As a foster parent and advocate for children, she has worked to improve services for young people aging out of the foster care system, many of whom end up homeless. Please join me in welcoming Amy Elaine Wakeman. So I think I'm gonna have a hard time tonight keeping my emotions in check. The epic of homelessness in LA did not happen overnight. Now is the time to welcome housing for low-income families into your neighborhoods. This is the most extraordinary moral and humanitarian issue on our plate as a city here in Los Angeles. At Speak Up, we believe that stories are what connect us to each other. So let me connect you with you. As a senior, we sometimes worry you may outlive your money. But you never really consider good out with your children. My name is Emily Martin, and this is what happened to me. Suddenly, my life was in havoc. Although I suffered from bipolar disorder for many years, I was never diagnosed or treated, so I self-medicated to alleviate the pain. These services are critical, especially for seniors, because the smallest crisis can lead to homelessness. Well, nobody makes it a life's goal to become homeless, to lose all your belongings, including your car, clothes, health, and your self-respect. But it happens, and it happened to me. I sunk into deep depression as I, as I lost all sense of self-respect and became funny smelling. Because when you live on the streets, you smell like a street person. You smell like exhaust that comes from cars. You smell like urine and sweat. Now, how do you help someone regain everything lost? This is my story as a former foster youth. I've been taking one day at a time just to stay on my grind. And as I flip through every page in my mind and I find the more that I press through, that I rewind back all that I've been through, you see. I was in a daze, lost in a maze, confused with no aim, no path, and no way. Life was just a game I played with no say. And if I lost it all, then it's back to the first stage. But see, the first stage always is the worst phase. Thinking of my worst days, remember all my church days. Where on Sunday, they claiming that the church saves. But then on Monday, they living in their cursed ways. And who am I to judge, though? I know what the words say. When that door shut and the income stopped coming in, I got behind on bills. Got behind on the rent, and that's where the house went. All the family shelters denied me and said they only accept women and children. So for a long time, I was like, where do I go? What, what do we do? You know? But I did not give up the faith. I kept on knocking on doors. Even though I knew this place told me no last week, I was like, maybe something new happened. And why do I like Imagine LA? Because it's a program that teaches people how to fish. It just doesn't give them the fish, it teaches them how to fish. And Sam is a great fisherman. And I so respected his journey in and out of homelessness and jail and to boot as a single father. A Triple H ballot measure that some of you remember, 77% of the voters supported it. That is the highest level of support for a bond measure in the history of the city of Los Angeles to fund the things that we should have been doing all along. For the past month, I've actually been going out with our whole team, which is our uh, social workers to homeless encampments. Um, and if you, could, if you talk to any of the uh, practitioners, they will tell you how hard it is to get somebody to accept services. How many times do I get people and say, Councilor, why can't you help us? But once in a while, they accept. 